We're going to get started as usual with news you can use. We've got some uh, some interesting stuff that we're going to talk about this morning. I've talked about it uh, in the past a couple of times, and the topic's going to be inflation, specifically lumber in the housing market and how it affects your business. But I've got some uh, some proof that I want to show you. I took, a, as you guys know, I live part-time in uh, what we call Surf City. It's Huntington Beach, California, Orange County, and then part uh, in Central California. And uh, I took a video last, early August last year when we were in the middle of the COVID panic and I, pandemic, and I uh, did a panoramic view of what we'd call Huntington Beach area and then uh, Long Beach is just to the right. It's just a couple of miles up the beach. Long Beach, the port of Long Beach specifically is a part of the port of Los Angeles, which collectively are the largest ports in the world. Most of everything we bring in in the United States or the largest percentage of everything we bring in from overseas comes through the port of Los Angeles slash Long Beach. Um, they just kind of run from one to the other. And, and you can see in the videos we're going to show you, you'll see the port of Los Angeles and you'll see the port of Long Beach to the right. Um, the reason I want to show you these things is, um, you know, I, I was able to see firsthand in these videos, like I said, the first one was done in August last year. The second one is done in June last month. And you can see the type of activity that goes on in the port. What, what happened during the pandemic is everybody shut down, including uh, the ports with the exception of certain necessities that they had to bring in. Uh, but all of the warehouses, you know, all of the importers, all of the national distributors of supplies that we get from overseas, which include lumber, uh, steel, and plastics, prime, the three primary things that you need to build a house, as well as concrete, which we're basic in. Um, and by the way, we're basic in those other materials too. And by basic, I mean, we have the ability in this country to provide all that we need, but because of current government regulations and uh, you know some rulings that have been made, it makes it darn near impossible to, you know, log our forests, uh, you know, develop uh, in some cases our plastics uh, because of their need for oil, uh, which your plastics are based on, um, you know, and, and these types of things. A lot of what we have to get, steel even, we have to get from overseas, even though we can produce a lot of that stuff here, and we still do, but we're getting a larger reliance on overseas suppliers of these materials. And uh, the, the simple, the quick tour is, listen, if we're not bringing stuff in, uh, we're short on material. And if we're short on material, you've got a bigger demand than you do supply. And every time you've got a bigger demand than supply, uh, what happens? Inflation. And it's, it is a, it's like an arbitrage play. It's, it's literally not enough supply for the demand. Now, this never, this never happens in a vacuum. It's always caused, in my opinion, it's caused by government intervention, the things that they've done to, you know, uh, create this, or the, it's called the law of unintended consequences, things that, you know, they'll make pronunciations and rules and it affects downstream things like us in the housing business. So actually, if you're ready, we'll show that first video. And if you can make it bigger where you can see the the ocean in front of Huntington Beach. Um, let's let's see if we can give that a shot. And we'll do the one that uh, doesn't have the houses in the background first. This will be the August of 2020 video. Give us a second here while we get this thing going. Um, it, what, what you're going to see is in the first video, uh, there are, I think, two boats waiting to unload. getting it. There's two boats waiting to unload at the port of Long Beach. Uh, the second video taken last month, there are 32 boats stacked up uh, behind waiting to be offloaded. So we're, we're quickly playing catch up in this thing, but you can you can see it when you see it visually. Um, it, it is a real surprise and shocker. If we can do it, if we can't, we'll do it. We'll try and do it uh, another call. Oh, we may have some some issues here with this thing. Can All you right. see what I'm showing you there? 
No, we couldn't see anything. We could hear it. Sorry. Okay. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Okay. This is August. Now, yeah, as you can see, we're going slow. Right there in the background, that's the pier, Huntington Beach Pier. And normally, this is, you know, Huntington Beach, Surf City is just, it's a beach. There's not a lot of stuff out there. There's a couple of oil derricks out in, uh, you know, off the beach that probably about a mile out. Um, and you'll see those coming up. But this is a panoramic view, so you can kind of see what's going on. There's an oil derrick just came into the picture. And there's a, one boat out there. This is the boat in the foreground is just a pleasure boat. These are pleasure boats on the right side, but you see nothing on the horizon. Over here on the far right horizon is the port of Long Beach. You can generally, you can kind of see in the background, that's uh, Palos Verdes Peninsula, which is uh, right above the port of Los Angeles. And to the right of that is the port of Long Beach. But there, my point here is last August, there was no boats waiting to be unloaded, offload, offloaded at that point. So once again, we get about half of our materials from overseas and there was nothing coming in. So warehouses were empty. Now let's take a look at last month and um, you can see that. While she's getting that ready, let's talk some numbers about this whole situation. Uh, on May 7th, 2021, uh, about a little over two months ago, the lumber's futures peaked at $1,670 per thousand square feet. Just to give you an idea, uh, you know, of how much a house, when they, when they build a house, they use about 27,000 um, square feet of lumber or footboards of, of lumber. Uh, about 16,000 is softwood that's used in framing and that type of thing. And okay, we're going to look at this one from June and we'll go through the numbers. This is looking out over Bolsa Chica. It's not right on the beach like the other, but you can see the beach in the background. I don't know if you can make that bigger, but you can see right along the horizon there, there is all kinds of boats stacked up just one after another. There's little blips out there. I can see it better on my phone, but if you could, yeah, right there. Yeah, it doesn't zoom on the computer like it does on the phone. Okay, sorry. When when I blow it up on my phone, you can really see it, but there is a ton of boats and barges parked out there waiting, stacked up to be offloaded uh, at the port of Long Beach. And there's, you can see all these little boats here right along the horizon. You can stop and point those out maybe with your cursor. You can see them here, just tons and tons of ocean going vessels. It's the same view as before, it's just taken behind the Bolsa Chica Reserve, which is right on the, the edge of the coast here. Um, so our supplies are getting back to normal, is my point. It does take time to work through the system. Let's talk about numbers, though. That, that this, was a, a, this is a manipulated industry, like most industries. They take advantage of shortages, artificial or real. Um, and it's about 16,000 square feet uh, of board that are used, uh, softwood that are used to frame a house and about another 11,000 square feet of um, composites, things like uh, oriented strand board, also called OS OSB and plywood. And so a total of about 27,000 square feet in an average house, the price in May got up to $1,670 per thousand. So you take 27 uh, times 20, uh, you take 1,600 times 27, and you'll figure out what a, what a house costs in terms of the actual cost of the lumber. That number is literally six times, almost exactly six times higher than it was April 1 of 2020. So, you know, you do the math, let's just do it real quick here and see what we get. It's it's a horrendous increase in the cost. And this is what's caused uh, these builders to not build, to stop. So it's $43,000 in wood for the average house. This is just the wood, not the labor, not the concrete, not the steel, not the electrical, not the plastic. Um, and a year ago, it was less than $10,000. It was probably close to $7,000 for the raw material. So an average increase of uh, 30 some thousand dollars per house 
And um, then you put the margins and the markups, it causes the price, the average price of a house that's being built to go up about $60,000. Um, and that's, it's basically an artificial thing that was created by, you know, shutting down. Uh, some of these other countries like Canada continue to log right through this. But we shut everything down and now we're paying the price. Now the futures for lumber have gone back down to a normal level, level but because people bought on the futures market, the things that they bought in May are gonna come out six months later. So uh, November's material that comes in is gonna be a $1,600. Uh, stuff that's bought today on the futures market will come in in January, February, and it'll be you know three or $400 instead of $1,600. So it, it's a waiting game. We've gotta wait for inventory to flush through the system. Um, that's why I encourage everybody to be very careful about rehab projects right now, because you're going to have to use today's prices to price out and to actually build or rebuild your house. Uh, and, and frankly, that's why these new home builders are sitting on their hands. They're waiting for this pricing to come back down. If they had material in stock that was at the old price, they're pricing those homes as if they had to pay on a replacement cost basis instead of their actual cost. And so they're charging and getting more in a lot of cases for a brand new home. So it's a good time to kind of wait. Uh, if you're any way involved in that type of operation, either the rehab or the building of a home. Uh, but good news is, as you saw all those boats, that's, you know, a few months from now, that's going to start affecting the supply supplies are already going back up and that will in turn uh, reveal itself in cheaper prices on the market.